international stage. True. You know, Bob Marley was not accepted by Jamaica. That's true. Anyone mm-hmm. in, we know the history of Jamaica and, and well, not 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 necessarily accepted by Jamaica, just certain aspects of Jamaica, like yeah, the upper sure. the upper echelons. Mm-hmm. The upper echelon. And yeah. Where does that come from? Well, of course, yeah, we know yeah. exactly where that come from. That comes mostly because of racism. Corruption. Yes. Mm-hmm. Bob Marley did not fit that mold. Okay. It was not about, it was not a, you know, a, a top 40 type of, you know, clean cut presentation. Yes. He was yes. a Rasta. Yes. He was smoking ganja. Yes. He was wearing Rasta colors and yes. had dreadlocks. He was, a, he was a rebel, basically. He was a rebel. And mm-hmm. these are not things that are not acceptable in the colonial mindset that Jamaica in the upper echelons embrace especially during that time right mm-hmm. well that time was that, that, time. that time was terrible I like what's crazy is I well, still have let, 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 go let on him, I can finish that mm-hmm. and, and the, the funny thing about what we do is you know when you look at the things that really have brought the audio was up. to the forefront of of consciousness worldwide Rastafari Ganja yeah uh. reggae music Bob Marley these are things that are accepted by our, our, our counterparts of other races, but we as black people shun it. Yes. Marijuana is a billion dollar industry right yeah. now. But we and made other people make money off of that. Yes. Jamaica yeah. should have led that, that, yes. that movement. I don't think yeah, it's too late said. for them. I don't think it's too late for it's, them. They got to they gotta brand this shit. They have to learn how to brand it properly. But mad white Jamaican, we'll come from behind. You understand? Yes, we'll yes. come from way, no, way we, behind. Well, first way of all, we put, our, we put ourselves behind. Mm-hmm. We never believe in our own people. And, uh, but with with, mar- with with marijuana, to be uh, to be fair, with marijuana, um, it's, it's, mm. it's just like how when when Haiti got got their independence way before any other black republic, when they mm. were when they were economically blocked by France, Britain, and 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 the US. If 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 if, if Jamaica had legalized marijuana, but then you understand, know, mm. would us mm. would I get stolen water from every Harlem country there? So we are coming from behind because we we're kind of forced. We we're economically dependent on the people who made the international drug laws per se. So that's the only reason why we come from behind. But you know what? But Even though we come from behind, we have the image f- but, to but, the front. But, but you know what's <laughs> funny ahead, about right. the drug laws is, remember say, the only reason why it's a, it, it was illegal in the United States is because there's a guy by the name of William Randolph Hearst. Uh, and William Randolph Hearst was, he bought a ton of forest, uh, bought a ton of forest Mm-hmm. to make paper and he owned the newspaper company mm-hmm. right. so in the hemp. newspaper company they, they, they spread nothing but lies about hemp yes, yeah. even yeah. though hemp there could was make no research. paper there was no research behind it so exactly there's no research no. behind mm-hmm. it like me I'm, I don't I don't smoke weed mm-hmm. you understand I, I, I just I just don't have the mental capacity for it not really my wiring different for weed I get I get the paranoid I get it's paranoid but I have nothing against it mm-hmm. it's like any other like if you drink a drinks same thing we see okay. the same way Okay, and and uh, how, uh, you're saying how Jamar? How, so how so, this, how the history goes? Yeah, um, continue so the story. So how, how it relates to why I believe Bob Marley, and and in what manner Bob Marley should get the national era status. Mm-hmm. We, when you look at what Barbados did, you don't know really see the symbolism where, where they go on the day. You know, you look mm-hmm. on the stage there. Three things happened. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they were transferring power from Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles to British people. And he transferred power to three black women ah, on that stage. The, the, the symbolism of saying we are no longer looking to these people for identity. This is the new identity of the country. Our prime minister, our first president, and now the, the, the right hero we are celebrating and looking to for the future of what this country will become. We are yes. starting with a black woman, why Rihanna? Yes, and what and, mm-hmm. her, and her achievements. This and the wow. My, so when I say Bob Marley should be considered a national hero, I'm also saying that it needs to come in tandem with uh, a symbolic. What is Jamaica stating its identity on and its path forward? If it can't be coupled with those things, maybe it's not even worth it. But Jamaica has a serious identity crisis. I mean, when you're looking at it in, in Parliament and this mm-hmm. Westminster system, when I'm aware of this white Wiggle. wig and all them something there, Redrin, <laughs> that, is not, that is not Jamaica. Yeah, school picnic where I got school and wear them dreadlocks and I feel I get fight for Man, it. And them British had a good marketing campaign that, to us. That, that, that bun, when, when, when them prevented girls from going to school, them something just, it just, it just, but, that, something just, but ah. the crazy thing is, no, but me as a white man, I mm. see that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm looking at them saying, I ain't gonna lie, you look like a clown. Yeah. So what? 